Now somebody, anybody, everybody scream! There's squirrels in my pants! That girl's got some serious squirrels in her pants! There's squirrels in my pants! Tell me what's making you jump like that! Inside your pee, squirrels in my pants! Ain't got no chickens, ain't got no rats! Inside your pee, squirrels in my pants! Yes to the I, to the N, to the P, then maybe you can be moving like me! Step right over and watch me put it down! Step to the I, to the N, to the P! Step right over and watch me put it down! S to the I, to the N, to the P! What's up? It's the Liberal Democratic National Embarrassment, known as Rebecca Johnson, back with your blog about uh, Fremont <sighs> and environmental science. <laughs> like many communities, Fremont has a combined sewer system that collects both sewage and stormwater. When stormwater runs into the storm, drains that connects to the city's sanitary sewer system. The stormwater and sewage flow together to the Fremont Waste Water Treatment Plant, otherwise known as FWTP. <laughs> During the major storm event, however, the combined volume of stormwater and sewage may exceed the plant's capacity, and the overflow bypasses the FWT. The untreated flow is then discharged into the Fremont Creek along with the treated waste. <sighs> Recent parts of Fremont received 5 centimeters of rain in 60 minutes. The storm caused widespread flooding in the northeast section of town, especially in shops at the Fremont Shopping Center. We now go to Emily Rabowski for more information in debt. Fremont Parking Center. Hey you guys, it's Emma and I'm here on the scene. We want to know two specific pollutants in the storm water runoff that hurt the surface of water quality. One of the final steps that scientists need to take is to calculate the volume of water that will eventually run off from the parking lot, which is 200 meters times 100 meters in meters cubed after 5 centimeters of rain. Then. The scientists need to calculate the volume of water that will fall in all of Fremont in meters cubed after 5 centimeters of rain. Fremont has a surface area of 10 kilometers squared. We are going to predict that all of the runoff from all of Fremont will be captured by the storm sewers. Fremont's water plant has the capacity to treat 10,000 meters cubed of water per day. However, Fremont citizens must understand that the plant already treats about 5,000 meters cubed of water from domestic sewage, leaving only half of its capacity to clean up after the storm. Scientists will need to also calculate how much water will bypass the water plant as a result of the storm. As a reporter, I would like to know two ways that the volume of storm water can be reduced. This problem can affect the environment in a negative way besides pollution from runoff and untreated sewage. I wonder what other problems scientists can identify that will result because of the extensively paved urban area. Stay tuned, Fremont. You're going down. Runoff and untreated sewage. Hey, I wonder what other problems.